everybody. Uh, for today's video, I've come back down the cellar again, partly just for a change of scenery, but partly to give Mr. Spearman a little bit of reassurance about the spooky cellar. So, down to the spooky hole. I've only brought my little torch down today, unfortunately, but I think you can see that there is no real evidence of zombies digging their way out of the ground to cause havoc amongst the living. <laughs> the dust on the other hand is a real pain. So let's get the camera back. So today's video is the book 110 that Ed A to Z very kindly sent to me. And you may think, well, do we need another review on the book 110? Um, I don't know. There's certainly lots of reviews out there, but none of them are my book 110. So, let's first of all, for people who are not too familiar um, with the brand and with the knife, We'll just set a little bit of context. It all started in 1902 when Hoyt Book, a Kansas blacksmith, made his first knife from an old file. Hoyt and his son Al set up H. H. Book and Son in San Diego in 1947. They then moved to Post Falls, Idaho in 2005. Post Falls is a relatively rural town and the factory looks out onto a large open area. The firm's now under the direction of Al Buck's son Chuck and his grandson CJ. Okay, and here we have the book 110. I believe there have been something like 18 million of these made in the last 50 years. So if you average that out, that's around 360,000 a year, um, getting on for a thousand a day on average. This is how mine came in um, a blister pack. I've cut the big blister off the back where the pouch was. The pouch is um, quite heavy duty nylon, very well stitched, uh, two way belt loops on the back and a big press stud. And here is the knife. So I'm just going to check I'm in frame. I could do it being this way a bit, couldn't I? Right, so this is the 50th anniversary version. Um, the main difference being we've got a medallion inlaid into the handle scale there. Quick run through the specs. It's uh, four and seven eighths closed, which is about 124 millimeters, and it weighs 7.2 ounces, 205 grams. The blade is three and three quarters, which is uh, 95 millimeters, and it's a hollow grind clip point in 420 HC. The knife has a lock back, brass bolsters, brass liners, quite heavy duty brass liners as well I must say, pin construction, the tang stamp book USA and then 50th anniversary logo which is the anvil with 50 in. One of the questions that Ed was wondering about uh, he said to me that he's not aware of anybody buying one of these since they moved to the new factory, 2005. And he was wondering if the lockup is still as good as it always used to be. Well, there's no side to side and there's no up and down. You need to pre depress the lock bar quite far to release it. 
and that's not because anything sticks or catches that it shouldn't but I think the way the lock bar locks into the tang it feels like there's a lot of crossover rather than just a little tiny bit there that's easy to come away I think you get a good solid crossover between the lock bar and the tang so you need to depress that lever quite firmly so I think the lock up is very good the handles are Macassar Ebony Diamond Wood now Diamond Wood is a proprietary plywood made by the Rutland Plywood Corporation when you look at their catalogue Macassar Ebony isn't listed so that leads me to believe that this is a custom product just for book and possibly even just for the 110 but I don't know maybe somebody can correct me on that the fit and finish is extremely good everything is well cut well matched no sharp edges except hopefully for one now I've not cut anything at all with this so we'll start off with a piece of paper and we'll see what the edge is like there was a bit of grottiness just there I've cleaned most of it off but just need to wipe and that is lovely look at that as sharp as you like he says fumbling it so we've got a nice keen edge obviously it's billed as a folding hunter and I don't hunt but I think it's also um, been widely adopted as a general work knife so let's have a go at this box this is the packing that uh, it arrived in from the States and it is just gliding through that cardboard let's see if we can uh, cut a piece off and then hopefully we can get it in shot a bit better let's see, I think this will be in camera but you can just see I can get a grip of it no problem at all there. that is really nice oh getting a bit giddy now <laughs> oh yes fucking zombies I'll have them bastards so I'm not going to um, drag this out any further as I say there's lots of reviews of the book 110 out there but this one thank you to Ed this one is my one and I love it so thanks Ed and thanks for watching